Good morning, good morning. Hello, this is LaShonda Janine Hearn with A Year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading. Good morning. How are you all doing? My voice sound a bit rough, don't it? Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> Looks like y'all are going to have to forgive my voice. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I seriously don't. Good morning. This is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading, where we are getting through the Bible in, in one entire year. And we are in Numbers 3 and 4 today, and Mark chapter 6, starting with verse 6 through 29. Y'all are really going to have to forgive my voice this morning. I don't know where it is. So, I just barely started talking, so I didn't even know it was sounding like this right now. All right, well, all right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, we glorify you and we thank you, Lord Jesus, for waking us up this morning, getting us on our way. We thank you for the energy and the strength that you give us. When you commission us to do something, you give us all the tools and all the weapons that we need in each single day. And so we pray that you show us how to use the weapons of warfare as we go throughout our day, as we face things, as we face circumstances, as we face situations. Show us and teach us, Lord God, how to be conquerors in Christ Jesus in this day, Lord God. And we just glorify you. And we thank you for your healing. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your power, Lord God. And we just ask that you just continue to be the God you are for us. Continue to show up and show out in our lives, Lord God. And just help us to walk victorious in this day today, Lord God. And we know that today is a day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it today, Lord Jesus. And we just thank you and glorify you. And I thank you for all that are obeying you, hearing your voice. I pray that you bless them for, you, for their obedience. I pray that you bless them for listening and hearing your voice, Lord God. And I pray that you bless them for staying in the word and developing their prayer life with you and developing their relationship with you. Fill their cups and overflow with overflow their cups today, Lord God. And we just glorify you and we thank you, Lord Jesus. And we pray this in the presence of Jehovah, in the presence of in the spirit of Jesus Yahweh, in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. I guess I just had to uh <clears throat> Talk some, talk some. I got my water today because my mouth gets really dry. All right. This is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading, and we are in Numbers 3 and 4. Okay, Numbers 3. These also are the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day that the Lord spake with Moses in Mount Sinai. And these are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab the firstborn, and Abihu, Alazar, and Ithamar. 
These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests which were anointed, whom he consecrated to minister in the priest's office. And Nadab and Abihu died before the Lord, when they offered strange fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. And Alazar and Ithmar ministered in the priest's office in the sight of Aaron their father. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and present them before Aaron the priest, that they may... Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Bring the... I'm going to start with six again. Bring the tribe of Levi near, and present them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister unto him. And they shall keep his charge... And the charge of the whole congregation before the tabernacle of the congregation to do the service of the tabernacle. And they shall keep all the instruments of the tabernacle of the congregation and the charge of the children of Israel to do the service of the tabernacle. And thou shalt keep the Levites unto Aaron and to his sons. They are wholly, wholly given unto him out of the children of Israel. And thou shalt appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall wait on their priest's office. And the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, And I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore, the Levites shall be mine. Because all the firstborn are mine, for on the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I hollowed unto me, excuse me, all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast, mine shall they be. I am the Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Number the children of Levi after the house of their fathers by their families. Every male from a month old and upward shalt thou number them. And Moses numbered them according to the word of the Lord as he was commanded. And these were the sons of Levi by their names Gershon and Kohath and Marari. Marari. And these are the names of the sons of Gershon by their families, Libni and Shimei. And the sons of Kohath by their families, Amram and Izhar, Hebron and Uziel. And the sons of Morari by their families, Mahali and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites according to the house of their fathers. Of Gershon was the family of the Libanites and the family of the Shemites. These are the families of the Gershonites. Those that were numbered of them according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward, even those that were numbered of them were 7,500. The families of the Gershonites shall pitch behind the tabernacle westward. And the chief of the house of the father of the Gershonites shall be Elisaph, the son of Lyle. And the charge of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of the congregation shall be the tabernacle and the tent. The covering thereof and the hanging for the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the hangings, excuse me, and the hangings of the court and the curtain for the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle and by the altar round about, and the cords of it for all the service thereof. And of Kohath was the family of the Amorites, and the family of the Izharites, and the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uzalites. These are the families of the Kohathites. 
saying these names wrong, but hey. <laughs> in the number of all the males from a month old and upward were 8,600, keeping the charge of the sanctuary. The families of the sons of Kohath shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle southward. And the chief of the house of the father of the families of the Kohathites shall be Elizaphan, the son of Uziel. And their charge shall be the ark and the table and the candlesticks and the altars and the vessels of the sanctuary where they minister and the hanging and all the service thereof. And Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, shall be chief over the chief of the Levites and have the oversight of them that keep the charge of the sanctuary. Of Mar Marari was the family of the Ma Malites. And the family of the... Excuse me. And the family of the Mushites. These are the families of Morari. And those that were numbered of them, according to the number of all the males, from a month old and upward, were 6,200. And the chief of the house of the father of the families of Morari was Zuriel, the son of Ab Abihel. These shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle northward. And under the custody and charge of the sons of Morari shall be the boards of the tabernacle, and the bars thereof, and the pillars thereof, and the sockets thereof, and all the vessels thereof, and all that serveth thereto. And the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords. <clears throat> Y'all have to forgive me this morning. My, my voice is really rough. All right, but, okay, verse 38. But those that encamp before the tabernacle toward the east even before the tabernacle of the congregation eastward, shall be Moses and Aaron and his sons, keeping the charge of the sanctuary for the charge of the children of Israel, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. All that were numbered of the Levites, which Moses and Aaron numbered at the commandment of the Lord throughout their families, all the males from a month old and upward were twenty and two thousand. And the Lord said unto Moses, Number all the firstborn of the males of the children of Israel from a month old and upward, and take the number of their names. And thou shalt take the Levites for me. I am the Lord. Instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel and the cattle of the Levites, instead of all the firstlings among the cattle of the children of Israel. And Moses numbered as the Lord commanded, all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and all the firstborn males by the numbers of names from a month old and upward of those that were numbered of them were twenty and two thousand two hundred and three score and thirteen. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn of the, among the children of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites instead of their cattle. And the Levites shall be mine. I am the Lord. And for those that are to be redeemed of the two hundred and three score and thirteen of the firstborn of the children of Israel, which are more than the Levites, thou shalt even take five shekels apiece by the pole. After the shekel of the sanctuary shalt thou take them. The shekel is twenty geras. And thou shalt give the money wherewith the old and thou shalt give the money wherewith the odd number of them is to be redeemed unto Aaron and to and to his sons. And Moses took the redemption money of them that were over and above them, 
that were redeemed by the Levites. Of the firstborn of the children of Israel took he the money, a thousand three hundred and three score and five shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave the money of them that were redeemed unto Aaron and to his sons according to the word of the Lord as the Lord commanded Moses. So good morning. This is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading where we are getting through the entire Bible in one year. And we just read Numbers 3, and we're getting ready to read Numbers 4. Ooh, thank you for your patience, because my, my voice is really, really doing a number on me today. <laughs> All right. Number 4. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Take the sum of the sons of Kohath from among the sons of Levi after their families by the house of their fathers. From thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, all that enter into the host to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. This shall be the service of the sons of Kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation about the most holy things. And when the camp setteth forward, Aaron shall come and his sons, and they shall take down the covering veil and cover the ark of testimony with it, and shall put thereon the covering of badger's skin, and shall spread over it a cloth Woolly of blue, and shall put in the staves thereof. And upon the table of shoe bread, thou shalt spread a cloth of blue, and put thereon the dishes, and the spoons, and the bowels, and covers to cover withal, and the continual bread shall be thereon. And they shall spread upon them a cloth of scarlet, and cover the same with a covering of badger's skin and shall put in the staves thereof. And they shall take a cloth of blue, and cover the candlestick of the light, and his lamps, and his tongs, and his snuff dishes, and all the oil vessels thereof, wherewith they minister unto it. And they shall put it in all the vessels thereof, within a covering of badger skins, and shall put it upon a bar. And upon the golden altar, they shall spread a cloth of blue and cover it with a covering of badger's skin and shall put to the staves thereof. And they shall take all the instruments of ministry wherewith they minister in the sanctuary and put them in a cloth of blue and cover them with a covering of badger's skin and shall put them on a bar. And they shall take away the ashes from the altar and spread a purple cloth thereon. And they shall put upon it all the vessels thereof, wherewith they minister about it, even the censers, the flesh hooks, and the shovels, and the basins, all the vessels of the altar. And they shall spread upon it a covering of badger skin, and put to the staves of it. And when Aaron and his sons have made an end of covering the sanctuary, and all the vessels of the sanctuary, as the camp is set forward, after that the sons of Kohath shall come to bear it, but they shall not touch any holy thing, lest they die. These things are the burden of the sons of Kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation. And to the office of Eleazar the son of Aaron, the priest pertaineth the oil for the light, and the sweet incense, and the daily meat offering, and the anointing oil, and the oversight of all the tabernacle, and of all that therein is, in the sanctuary, and in the vessels thereof. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Cut ye not off the tribe of the families of the Kohathites from among the Levites, but thus do unto them, that they may live and not die. When they approach unto the most holy things, 
Aaron and his sons shall go in and appoint them every one to his service and to his burden. But they shall not go in to see when the holy things are covered, lest they die. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take also the sum of the sons of Gershon throughout the houses of their fathers by their families, from thirty years old and upward until fifty years old shalt thou number them. All that enter in to perform the service to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites to serve and for burdens. And they shall bear the curtains of the tabernacle and the tabernacle of the congregation is covering the covering of the badger skin that is above upon it and the hanging for the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and the hangings of the court and the hanging for the door of the gate of the court which is by the tabernacle and by the altar round about and their cords and all and all the instruments of their service and all that is made for them so shall they serve at the appointment of Aaron and his sons shall be all the service of the sons of the Gershonites, and all their burdens, and in all their service, and ye shall appoint unto them in charge all their burdens. This is the service of the families of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of the congregation, and their charge shall be under the hand of Ithmar the son of of Aaron the priest. And as for the sons of Maari, thou shalt number them after their families by the house of their fathers. From thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, shalt thou number them. Everyone that entereth into the service to do the work of the tabernacle of the congregation. And this is the charge of their burden, according to all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation. The boards of the tabernacle, and the bars thereof, and the pillars thereof, and sockets thereof. And the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords, with all their instruments, and with all their service. And by name ye shall reckon the instruments of the charge of their burden. This is the service of the families of the sons of Moari, according to all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation under the hand of Ithmar, the son of Aaron, the priest. And Moses and Aaron and the chief of the congregation numbered the sons of the Kohathites after their families and after the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, everyone that entereth into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. And those that were numbered of them by their families were 2,750. These were they that were numbered of the families of the Kohathites, all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, which Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And those that were numbered of the sons of Gershon throughout their families and by the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward, even in unto fifty years old, everyone that entered into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Even those that were numbered of them throughout their families by the house of their fathers were two thousand and six hundred and thirty. These are they that were numbered of the families of the sons of Gershon, of all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, whom Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of the Lord. And those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Moari, throughout their families by the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, everyone that entered into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Even those that were numbered of them after their families were 3,200. 
These be those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Morari, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. All those that were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron and the chief of Israel numbered after their families and after their house of their fathers. From 30 years old and upward, even unto 50 years old, everyone that came to do the service of the ministry and the service of the burden in the tabernacle of the congregation, even those that were numbered of them were 8,504 score. According to the commandment of the Lord, they were numbered by the hand of Moses, everyone according to his service and according to his burden. Thus were they numbered of him as the Lord commanded Moses. So good morning. This is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. We just read Numbers 3 and 4. And now we're going to move on to Mark chapter 6. And we're going to start with verse 6 and read to verse 29. Make sure I'm in the right place. All right, Mark 6, starting with verse 6. And he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went round about the villages teaching. And he called unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits, and commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save a staff only, no scrip, no bread, no money in their purse, but be shod with sandals and not put on two coats. And he said unto them, in what place soever ye enter into an house, there abide till ye depart from that place. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. And they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick, and healed them. And King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad. And he said that John the Baptist was risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. Others said that it is Elias, and others said that it is a prophet or as one of the prophets. But when Herod heard thereof, he said, It is John, whom I beheaded. He is risen from the dead. For Herod himself has sent forth a lad hold upon John, and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. For John said unto for John has said unto Herod, It is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him and would have killed him, but she could not. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and a holy and, and holy and observed him. And when he heard him, he did many things and heard him gladly. And when, a and when a convenient day was come, the Herod, on his birthday, made a supper to his lord, the high captains, and chief estates of Galilee. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in, and danced and pleased Herod, and them that sat with him, 
The king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. And he sware unto her, Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me, I will give it thee, unto the half of my kingdom. And she went forth and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And she came in straightway with haste unto the king and asked, saying, I will that thou give me by and by in a charger the head of John the Baptist. And the king was exceeding sorrow, yet his oath's sake and for their sake which sat with him, he would not reject her. And immediately king sent an executioner and commanded his head to be brought and he went and beheaded him in the prison and brought his head in a charger and gave it to the damsel and the damsel gave it to her mother and when his disciples heard of it they came and took up his corpse and laid it in a tomb so good morning this is a year in the bible a daily bible reading where we are getting through the entire Bible in one year. And we just read Numbers 3 and 4. And Mark chapter 6, starting with verse 6 through 29. And I want to say as I was reading... And actually, the Lord has been giving me uh, messages uh, for the past few years concerning 2020. Um, the way he, the way he was with Moses and Aaron, he was a boss. He was a CEO. He had precise instructions, precise directions. Um, the way that they had to do things, the strategy. This is the way he's coming in 2020. And he is looking for people who are going to obey him. And, and not question and not doubt and not worry. And, and I want to encourage you and inspire you to develop your trust in him. So you can be one of the ones that he comes and gives direct precise instructions and directions in 2020 because he's building his kingdom his tabernacle in the earth again you know he's coming as the boss as the ceo and uh and he's preparing us he's preparing us as we daily stay in his word as we daily um pray and develop our prayer life with him and um, allowing him to continue to mold us and build us up. You know, he's teaching us. And uh, thank you for your obedience. Thank you for, you know, coming on and joining us every morning, uh, getting into the word with us. And uh, invite, 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 and share, 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 because everyone in your circle uh, needs to get into the word every single day and don't forget to go back and study the word even more look up words meditate on them even ask God questions you know what does this mean and how does this go you know and he will teach you and he will show you and and give you understanding and increase your knowledge and wisdom in him and so I am very excited I hope that you are too, and uh, this is this is awesome. This is great. So you all, I love you. Don't forget to share, 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 tag, and invite someone. Um, and I will see y'all five thirty in the morning. Y'all have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, blessed day on purpose, and I'll see you.